People have different perspectives, obviously, for what this verse means. Um, some would say that Jesus, as the Lamb of God, was slain as a sacrifice before the foundation of the world. And some would say, well, who sacrificed him? Obviously, um, the father didn't didn't do it. And some I've heard, I think Ian Clayton talks about Melchizedek doing it as a priest of a high God. I don't personally think it's a, actually that Jesus died per se. What I do believe is that the lamb gave himself as the lamb, Jesus as the lamb, which was an offering to make sure that our destiny, the destiny of mankind, and creation would be fulfilled no matter what happened in the future. So there was a preparation in place to ensure that everything that God had planned would eventually be brought about. And therefore we use language and the language is used in Revelation. Obviously John wrote from Revelation because he wrote from a Hebrew perspective and therefore the lamb, the Passover lamb, you know, which he obviously understood because Jesus sort of talked about that as in the new covenant, not in the old covenant. So the language used is to help people who would have understood the language of a lamb and, and slain, um, and they understood the principles of that. It, I don't necessarily believe it means that Jesus died per, before the foundation of the world. Obviously, if it, you know, how did that work? I don't, I don't believe that's what it really means. But what I do believe it means is, is it's linked to Ephesians 1.4. Uh, it says, just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world. And this is, I think, what it's referring to. We were all included and chosen in him before the foundation of the world therefore no matter what happened that choice that choice that he made to choose us and represent us and be us effectively jesus chose to represent mankind and become mankind and to die in mankind's place so that mankind would die with him all of the things that jesus did um it, before time were at work in time on the cross so as it says in that uh, as he chose us before the foundation of the world that we would be holy and blameless before him in love he pressed predestined us to the adoption of sons and daughters through jesus christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will now again this doesn't mean that we were not sons of god or daughters of god all the way through from god's perspective but from our perspective we had chosen to separate ourselves from god and essentially we chose emancipation from god as father and we chose to be our own father if you like our own god therefore jesus representing us brought us back into the relationship that god already had with us but we had chosen to uh, reject him he chose to accept us and make sure we knew that exception and the whole purpose of this is according to the good pleasure of his will his will is that all that was created will be restored back to its original intention and purpose so i believe that's really what it's talking about it's god's preparation that we would all be included in christ therefore all would be predestined we would all in reality we would all actually be before him holy and blameless in love and it's love which is really this whole thing's about jesus gave himself because of love god so loved the world that he sent his son into the world um, in time um, but before time began all of this was already set in place that jesus would be a representative of mankind to ensure the whole of creation would be restored if you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.